Welcome back to 5 Minute Friday. Let's do some cinematic lighting setup. So this first one we're getting into is super effective and super simple. Here's to your refrigerator and one source of light, that light being the Nanlite Pabo tube. I love this light. It's RGB, has effects, and is bicolor, which is the main reason I like it. And it's super bright for what it is. Um, so I basically just went to my refrigerator in my apartment and I gaff taped the little door button thingy that turns off the indoor light bulb in the fridge because we don't want that. It's a bad source of light. Uh, it's not a high CRI rating and it's not the right temperature I wanted. So turn that off and put the tube light in the corner of the fridge and kind of like off to the side so you don't see it on camera. And I set it to like roughly the same temperature as the light bulb inside the fridge, which most interior fridges are uh, more warm. So I think I had it to like 32 or 3400, something like that. And to help kind of put some light and color in the shadows around the fridge and my wife, I took two Aperture MC lights and turned them to a teal color, put the saturation really low. So it was basically white. And then I set it to like 40 or 50%, not too strong. Just wanted to kind of give a little bit of levels in the shadows. I put one right next to the fridge underneath the cabinets. I just used some gaff tape to hold them up and it worked out really well. And the second one I put on a tripod and put it behind my wife, maybe three or four feet, kind of shined it on the wall. So that way she'd have a slight blue tint on the back side of her body and then on the wall next to her. And that kind of created this like teal and orange push uh, practically instead of trying to get it in, in post when you color grade. And then while I was setting up those lights, my wife got a little snacky and broke into the cotton candy grapes. Yeah. Ain't it great? And after that, of course, I hazed up the whole entire apartment once again. Um, that really helped kind of give a beam of light coming out of it and just soften all the, all the shadows and highlights and things like that. And then I just had my wife do her thing and look awesome and act like she's getting something from the fridge and that's the first setup. The next setup was in the living room of my apartment. And for this one, I used just about three lights or so, but the main source of light was my Amaran 200X bicolor light with the Aperture Light Dome on it with a grid. What I was going for here was a little bit of a retro teal and orange vintage gaming scene with my wife playing the Atari 2000 on an old TV. So I started off by killing all the house lights and took my Amaran with the softbox, put it on a gobo arm off of a C-stand, did a top-down lighting setup. And I had that top-down light a little warmer than usual because I was doing the same thing on the background in the shadows. I used the aperture to help bring out those blues in the shadows and just do a teal and orange push practically. I also put an aperture right above the TV or right in front of the TV to help kind of give her an eye light and look like the TV was a bit brighter on her face. And those are both cool sources. So I needed some kind of warm source to warm up the image and preserve those skin tones. So that top down light being warmer helped accomplish that. So on the wider shots, I just had the top down light and then the one shining on the background off to the right. And that was because you could see, see the TV and you can see if there was gonna be an aperture there supplementing that TV light. I really recommend on tighter shots, heating in those lights and supplementing them from like computer screens or TV screens or people's phones even, just to bring more levels on your actor and uh, give them a little bit of an eye light. And it makes that, that lighting seem really natural, but extremely bright and balanced in your image. So then I just had my wife play a few rounds of Pac-Man on the Atari while I filmed, and this is what we got. That's five minute Friday. This was probably way under five minutes, but again, these are super simple, uh, but I think very effective lighting setups to just uh, create a teal and orange cinematic movie look to your images, even in the most boring situations like looking for food in a refrigerator. So if you learned something from this, give this video a like, it helps out a lot, and I'll see you guys next week.